Hey everyone, my name is Nelson Miller here with PA Creative and I would like to introduce to you our newest Divi course. It's called Divi Beginner Course and this obviously is made for anyone who is just getting started using the Divi theme. It gives you a wide introduction and gives you a very detailed look at how to use the builder and I think you're going to really find this valuable if you are new to Divi. So let's get started. I'll show you a little bit about what this offers. If you are new to Divi, obviously you are, you know, wanting to get started and use that builder and get started on the right foot. And that's kind of the key here to get started using the Divi builder in the correct way, because, you know, you don't want to form bad habits or anything like that. So here we have, you know, the little intro. Does this sound like you type of thing? And if it does, here's what we're going to cover everything that you need to get started the right way and be dangerous with it. So here's a list and each one of these represents a lesson in the course. So an introduction to Divi, you can learn about how Divi and WordPress are related and you know how you can use this amazing tool. We'll talk about how to install Divi, get your account set up on elegant themes and install the, you know, the theme or the plugin, how to update Divi and that's kind of important that often gets overlooked how to connect your API with your Elegant Themes account, you know, what does the change log mean and how to do an update manually and everything. As far as the theme options, we'll be going over the settings that are essential there and the ones that are helpful and then some that are not. So we're gonna give you kind of a, a major overview of those and a lot of opinions and a lot of those settings are actually depreciated in the theme customizer as well. So those two lessons are really important to get a, an accurate understanding of where Divi has been and where it's going. And then as far as the builder itself, we're gonna talk about sections, rows, columns and modules, and just how they, those all work together, what they are and how you can use them. We'll talk about uh, pre-made layouts that Elegant Themes provides that will we'll actually use one to give us a base and a head start there. And then we'll explore all of the settings and the layout that they've created. And then the actual Divi Builder settings, like when you open up the settings for a section, row, or module, we'll talk about everything that's in the Content tab, the Design tab, and the Advanced tab, and go over all of those settings in detail, and you won't be left wondering what something does. You'll, you'll totally have a, an overview of everything. And we'll even talk about what I call efficiency features, so things like the filters, the hover and the responsive settings, you know, how to copy and paste styles, um, how to set presets, you know, and use the contextual menu, all of those things in the Divi Builder. We'll talk about how you can save layouts and sections to your library or save them to your computer and reuse them and all of that. And then the Divi Theme Builder, very important lesson. It's a very long lesson, but it's a very important lesson. Understanding how you can use dynamic templates for your header and footer and all your blog posts and pages and custom post types and all that you can do with it. It's amazing. You definitely want to be using the Divi theme builder. And then we'll talk about how to make your site responsive. In this lesson, we're actually going to be referring you to our free course rather than redo everything again. We'll just link you over to our free course, full course. So you're actually getting um, kind of two courses in one here. And then we'll talk about Divi child themes and what they are, how you can use them, you know, why some are paid and why some are free or blank, um, and how you can use them, especially as you're adding code and snippets to your website. And speaking of that, we're going to talk about adding custom code, anything related to jQuery and PHP and CSS, where you can add that in Divi and um, how you can do that successfully not break anything using the, the proper place there. And then if you need help, we're gonna talk about how you can get proper help, whether that is with the Elegant Themes tech support or in like Facebook groups and things like that. So that's a really helpful video, how you can troubleshoot an issue and solve it yourself, or then know how to get help. And then we'll talk a little bit about what I recommend after this course. So we have kept it very beginner friendly. I kind of wrote this with my mom in mind. If I was teaching my mom how to use Divi, which would be crazy, don't tell her, but that would be um, rather difficult. So I tried to break it down and make it very easy, very beginner friendly, but also give you um, 
everything that you need, but nothing that you don't need. Because I've used Divi so much, I'm not gonna give you, I'm not gonna talk about things that you're never going to use, okay? Like I'll say, okay, we don't really need to talk about this because you're not gonna use this, that, that type of thing. So um, I try to keep it very practical, very efficient and valuable. And you'll be able to continue accessing the course at any given point. Like you wanna go back and reference something, a topic that was covered, you can do that at any point. So it doesn't matter if you're just building your own website, if you're a business owner, if you're a developer, um, if you've switched from another platform to Divi, whatever it is, this course is going to be very valuable for you. And we already have a couple of reviews. We just released this. Already have a couple of reviews that you can read there um, and just sit some of the valuable feedback that people are saying about the course. All right, so there you go. That's a look at our new course. I really hope you check that out, especially if you are just getting started or if you got started on the wrong foot and you'd like to go back and make sure that you're doing everything correctly, setting everything up correctly. I'm gonna cover all of that, pretty much everything that you would need to know as you're getting started and then moving into using the builder. And I would say it's not really for intermediate users, but if you're anywhere that you would consider yourself fairly new to Divi, then I think it's going to be very valuable. And be sure to ask any questions if you have any, and of course check out the details there on the product page. All right, well thank you all for watching, hope you enjoy, and we'll see you all in the next video.